Hey Capricorns, welcome back to the channel guys. We are doing a conversation with your person. Yes, let's see who's coming forward the strongest for my Capricorns this week. We're using the Hush Tarot. We're also using Heaven and Earth Tarot. And of course, we're using Big Mama Deck. The Big Mama Deck group this week. My Capricorns, yes, I added more cards into it. So if this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. Check that one out. See if I picked up your energy there. Let's see who's coming forward for my Capricorns. The strongest this week. And what do they want to talk about? I know what they want to talk about. It's Capricorns. Capricorns. We're going to talk about. Ooh, that got warm. Yes, it did. Where are we? Where are we at? What are we talking about, guys? Right here. Ooh. Got three. <laughs> we'll take them. Let's do the bottom one first. Uh, the world card. Mm -hmm. That's about something coming to completion. A completion of something. Y'all know it's like a death, sort of death energy death rebirth uh, but it's a phase of something has completed or tying up loose ends and get ready to step into a new phase of something next one let's go with the next bottom one we've got the magician manifesting ow energy it's also about having the energy the enthusiasm to move forward into a new phase and then we have our high priestess intuition Ooh, tying up loose ends. Magician, they manifesting what it is and following their intuition. Wow, let's pull the heaven and earth tarot. Let's get let's get in on this. Let's find out what that or what has uh, completed, come to a completion for this person. Because I'm feeling it is a pretty good energy here. Not you know, not something to be sad over. Or card now oh, but they are <laughs> yes well not really a ten of swords energy you, you know you're pinned down you're stabbed in the back that can be your own thoughts uh negative way of thinking and stuff but it's that's basically with these two cards is saying i'm done with the negative people negative things in my life that don't serve me well i'm i'm Getting that brushing off and I'm moving to a new horizon. I'm seeing the light somewhere else. Oh, we have a queen of pentacles. Capricorn, you showed up in the reading. Yes, you did. Ow. Well, tell me about my queen. Oh, we just lost a bunch of cards. We're going to take them though. Yes, we are. We got a nine of cups on that queen. Clarifying that queen. Abundance, happy, joy, celebration with the Three of Cups. And somebody that feels battle-weary. They are ready to move forward. On, on And from what I am gathering, they're moving towards us. Uh, towards my Capricorns. Mm -hmm. Let's shuffle this around. Leave this one out because I would like to see what they're leaving behind. <laughs> what are they leaving? Ooh, let's get this deck going right, y'all. What are they leaving behind? What was that? What caused the, that 10? Because a lot of times it's betrayal, feeling like you've been betrayed. And it could just be your own negative thoughts. King of Swords, Aquarius, Energy, Overthinking. A Fool, a Risk. They took a risk. And they were absolutely betrayed. Mm hmm stolen from that's like taking back what you feel like has been stolen from you and they were at a conundrum uh outer influences situations uh, made it hard for them to make choices and i felt pulled apart with this cancer energy mm -hmm. but the the one thing i'm uh that's popping for me is seeing our that seven of swords our guy looking back at the two of swords I've made up my mind, I've taken back what I feel like has been taken from me. I've got my crap together. This is determination, that battle wagon. So whatever your person is uh, moving away from, uh, it, you know, it was a crappy situation. <laughs> and like I said, 
But the, they seem to have this uh, mindset. I'm taking back what what was taken from me. So yeah, let's see what they're gonna say on the magician card because I'm feeling real confidence on that one. Oh, there's been some strife. We've got a five of wands. There's been some strife, some competition, but also with that five of wands. Sometimes five of wands. Sometimes you feel like you. You know, your opinion, what you have to say, what you think, doesn't matter so you don't speak up. Anxiety with Nine of Swords, needless stress and anxiety, and truth, it's time to speak up. They're speaking up. And moving to the light and King of Cups, they know what they want. They know what they want. They're not allowing the emotions of uh, whatever they're moving away from. There's no more emotions that can trigger them and hold them into it. Yeah. Ooh. It's emotional maturity. And I don't think we need to pull on our high priestess because uh, she is intuitive. They are following their what they feel is right for them right now. And like I said, they seem to be uh, in, on a path towards Capricorn. Or you, yes. Let's go ahead and pull our deck, message deck. Let's see what they're going to say on that world card. This is my Capricorns person. Capricorn. Oh, November, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. Uh, sometimes, it's just to give you a confirmation uh, that it's your person, you know, you'll have to use your intuition. Mm, November. I'm so tempted by you all the time. Ooh, I like that. What else? Right here. Let me get my finger on it. I love you more than I love myself. Mmm. Capricorn. Mmm. What else? Ooh, that one flew out. You're so intimidating. Yes, sometimes you are because you are that independent, strong-willed, I can handle everything to, and nurturer that takes care of everyone. That's intimidating. Even for me, y'all. <laughs> Let's see what they're going to say on the magician. <clears throat> on the magician energy. I just want to see you smiling with true happiness. That's ooh, I'm hearing this like my whole focus right now is to make sure you have a smile on your face and that you are really, truly happy. Let me grab hold of it here, guys. I love you, and I know you love me, too. Oh. What else? What else? Oh, right here. Oh, we've got a February <clears throat> Aquarius Pisces. February on that magician. Oh, did they tie up things in November this month? Because it's November uh, during the month that... I'm doing this reading. What's head? What's coming our way in February? Because that's on manifesting. I'm manifesting something. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they're going to say with that high priestess. Oh, we got the healing card. Healing. The healing. Mm -hmm. What else? There is no one else that knows me the way you do. Oh. I like that. What else? Hmm, right here. It might be both of them. We'll take them. You're so different than what I'm used to, but I like it. Hmm. Capricorn. I can't wait to touch you again. Oh my goodness, I like that. Let's go ahead and pull the tarot back. And let's see if they want to talk about anything else. Let me switch off sides here on the message card so we'll, I'll know which one to use. Capricorn's person, let's continue this conversation. Anything else you want to talk about? Capricorn's, Capricorn's person. Capricorn, your person's got some good energy. It feels good. Confident. Confident. Mm. Light. I'll say we've got a what a two of wands. 
Ow, the young emperor getting their direction. They might be in a little bit of a pause mode, uh, standing on that threshold. Uh, you know, it's like you're getting ready to take a trip. <laughs> yeah. But you're going over everything in your head first so you'll feel better after you step out the door, step off, you know, over that threshold. This person is definitely moving forward. Feels new to them. Mm -hmm. They're reevaluating things. What else? We've got a Knight of Pentacles Virgo energy. Ooh. Mm -hmm. What else? The Lovers Gemini Capricorn. Oh, I like seeing this because this is our builder. The, the Knight of Pentacles, that Virgo energy is about building what you want. Being practical, sensible, not rushing into things you thought. You, and with these two cards, it's, say, it's saying they have thought their way through. They really considered. They're not making rash decisions. They give thorough thought and plan to what they're doing. They, they're very feeling very confident in that. But they're they're on that builder quest. I want to build on a tangible level. What are they wanting to build? A committed relationship, a love relationship, equal exchange of energy. Um, it's passion, it's attraction, it's commitment. I'll say they this person is not just wanting to play. Just know that my Capricorns, um, with it coming in on the Pentacles, they're serious. They want a solid, stable relationship with it being a pentacle. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and pull the message back. Let's see what they want to say on that young emperor, that two of wands energy. That young Aries energy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? No. Let's see what else is going to pop out here right here. Double standards. Did they have double standards? Did somebody have double standards? Because like I said, they're sitting there considering reevaluating things. I'm sorry. And I still feel your energy everywhere all around me. Mm. We've got another one standing here. I didn't see it. When no one else will listen, I will. Mm. This person's got serious. Yes, they have. Let's see what they're going to uh, say on that Knight of Pentacles. That Virgo energy. Right here. I don't care how foolish I look. I love you. Yes. I'll be a fool in love for you. Yes, I will. Burning with passion. Burning with passion. Oh, I'm so sick of arguing all the time. Who is that with? Or they just, a lot of times when this one comes out, I just feel like somebody's been around others and had a lot of other people around them. They have attracted a lot of people that love drama and big, 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 because I'm not, I'm not really sensing that the two of you would have been arguing. You may have, but I think this person is tired of any relationship anybody <laughs> that's bring drama and arguing can't listen can't hear Ooh, right here y'all know i was dropping them the thought of you with someone else drives me crazy y'all that's coming in on the lovers yes <laughs> got a little bit of jealousy going here yeah can't handle it my life is so messed up right now mm -hmm. Oh, I think he's getting ready to improve, though. Yeah, with that two of one, wishful thinking, wishful thinking. What else? What else? Right here. I'm trying not to hurt anyone. Oh, this is getting deep. We're gonna keep going with these messages. I'm trying not to hurt anyone. What else? What else? Right there. I end. Oh, bam. I ended it with my karmic. Yeah. Oh, so they have definitely ended something. And, and like I said, 
they're they, the confidence of and they have thought things through they are moving towards my capricorns they've ended it they've ended it i'm sorry double standard was that them are they telling you they're sorry uh-huh Ooh, that was interesting y'all Let's go ahead and uh, get your person to pick a deck to give you some final messages, the closing messages they would like to leave you with. This is for my Capricorn's person here. Which deck do you want? Which deck do you want? Ooh, I'm not feeling any shadow stuff, guys. No, we're, gonna, we're actually going to get two decks. Because it's on the butterfly deck in a uh, conversation with counterpart. Let's do the butterfly first. We will do it. I won't be stingy. So my Capricorn's person, whatever you want to say, the final closing message is, please, whatever you need me to say here. Ooh, you can going to say a lot. I've been through so much, I don't know if I can start over again. But I think they're willing to try. I'm so lost in you. You're irresistible. Take a chance. Ooh, give me a chance. I care so much for you. I need you. Oh, my heart is broken. I think they broke their own heart. I think they're trying to fix that now. You are my treasure. One more here, guys. I dream of a future with you. Okay. Let's switch off. Go with our conversation with counterparts. Let me get the energy on it. This is for my Capricorn person. Final messages, please. Do the easy shuffle with this one. One more Capricorn person. There we go. Closing messages, whatever you want to say. Ooh. I'll bring you the stars. My love for you never fades. My heart is safe with you. I know my heart is safe with you. I think about you every day. Is there anything else? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Hang on, guys. Here we go. I want to take a chance on us. I wished for you. My world is turning upside down. Ooh, shaking it loose. Yes, shaking it loose what doesn't serve. Mm -hmm. I want you in my arms again. In a season, reason, or lifetime of love, you're my eternity. We've got one more here. Last one. No, second to last one. I don't want to share this journey with anyone else. We've got one more. My life is better with you. Oh, my Capricorns. I love that. Okay, guys. That's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.